It really rained last night. As you can see. Winterbar is different than Accra. Winterbar is a lot slower. And it's a lot more lush. More like a bush. More like the bush. I see why they call it the bush. Because the, uh, the foliage is, what, 10, sometimes 15, feet high. This, this grass is very high. And it's very difficult to get into. If left alone, it, it would be impenetrable. Impenet impenet I can't say it. Impenetrable. Impenetrable. But uh, this looks looks as if somebody went through this way. I don't know where they was going, but but it's difficult. It's difficult. The foliage is like uh, so thick. It's, it's it's very. Believe me, if if there's if. There isn't a road there. It'll be it'll be hours to make to make a trail or a road. And I doubt if you you get a half a mile, not even a block. It's so thick. The foliage is, is so thick. Look, look at this. This is the foliage that, that you're looking at. And this is the day after uh, the rain. It rained all night last night, just about. Look at that African sunrise. Beautiful. It just looks it looks glorious. There is a structure behind all of this foliage, but you can hardly see it. The foliage is taking over. That's the structure being built right next to it where I am residing, which is a victory guest house right here. The owner is building a structure right next to the victory guest house. A similar 
guest house, but uh, different design. This is Sankofa Live TV. And uh, I'm your host, Baba Hansibo. And uh, we are powered by Sankofa Travel Tours and Investment. Morning. Very interesting. I've, I've, I've been having very interesting mornings. I wonder what was that all about. My mornings are never bored. I am never bored here in the motherland, Africa. It's always something interesting. Yeah, but I, I moved, uh, when I first touched down here on the mother continent, I was in a cry. Ghana, listening to uh, different characters uh, talk to me about residency and citizenship and you got to be in a city to get acclimated to the culture. No, I know all of that is not true. It's not true at all, period. You know. The, the only thing that is true is that it's very difficult to meet someone that is not um, unscrupulous. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, everybody is uh, hand to mouth. Everybody wants, everybody needs, or uh, everybody is trying to make money. Everybody wants money. Whether, whether you get hustled or whether it be by, uh, as they say, uh, God-given or whether it's unscrupulous uh, means of, of gaining uh, monetary uh, uh, money, um, but it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's hard to find someone that is that that is not like that. that is, uh, if you find someone like that, if you find someone that is not uh, struck by greed and by uh, 
trying to make money. And you better hold on to it. But uh, it's very difficult to find someone that is not like that. And that, that, that's the type of problem that I have been running into. Running into people that will tell you anything just to get a, a dollar or, or just to get a, a Ghana CD. They, um, even at the supermarket, even at the grocery store, uh, supermarket, uh, what do you call it? Uh, at the market area, neighborhood market, they up your price two or three kind of CDs than normal than the average uh, neighborhood uh, shopper. Just because you're from another place. And they look at African Americans as, uh, or they call them Black Americans, as uh, foreigners. Some of them even, even uh, called call Black folks from the U.S. Obunis, you know. And they they have a, a tribalistic mindset. And they're tra it's like they're trapped into this tribalistic thing, you know. Um, they look at tribalism as as uh, I don't know, some kind of curse or something. Um, they're not. They're not even nationalistic. They're, they're not Pan-African. They're not nationalistic. They're tribalistic. And uh, that's, that's our greatest downfall in terms of black global unification. That's why people can't come over here and take the resources. And if they come with enough money, they, they could pretty much take over. And it's not done. And no justice is served because that is the mentality of the people of this land. Basic, pretty much, basically. Uh, I will continue this uh, discussion later on. Till we meet again, peace and black global power. Living his dream, manifesting his reality.